Hello everyone. In this video, we'll be discussing the strategy for microbiology. Now, when it comes to the subjects like microbiology, it becomes a uh, tough nut to crack owing to the vast nature of the microbiology. There is huge uh, information which we have to remember and uh, some unpredictability also. Like uh, if they ask you six questions, so out of those six questions, one or two questions can be unpredictable right so how you can just try to crack those questions also we'll be just discussing in the video but yes almost 70 to 80 percent question uh, you have the predictable area so i'll be discussing those topics also and they take some of the questions from the recent medical pg examination so they generally get repeated directly from the neat pg medical examination even INICT for the medical. So you have to see almost three years of the paper of NEET PG medical as well as INICT medical to crack these two, three questions. Because if you just practice almost 100 questions and you get two, three direct questions, that also is beneficial for your rank. So let's talk about the weightage of microbiology. So if you see the recent uh, six years analysis in 2016, when it was an AIPG, uh, there were only two questions which are asked, which were asked from microbiology, but then the weightage was more uh, gradually increased from 2017 to 2020. There were almost uh, 7 to 10 questions which were asked from microbiology. And this year also there were six, five to six questions which were purely from microbiology. Now, uh, one thing I must say, uh, segregating the microbiology question in microbiology is itself difficult because these are on the interlinking concepts. So sometimes you can categorize the microbiology questions in pathology or sometimes in medicine also. So you should remember and you should make sure that you read the uh, microbiology in such a way that you will be able to relate to the uh, relate that information to the case based questions. So you have to think like you are using this microbiology thing to diagnose or to uh, check the efficacy of the antibiotics like that. Okay. So this should be your approach for microbiology so almost 7 to 10 questions out of 240 questions are asked from microbiology itself yes this is a little difficult but yes uh, if you just uh, read what is advised to you your life for microbiology will be easier because there are almost 70 percent questions means out of these uh, six questions there could be four questions which were uh, directly from the static topics what are static topics these are the topics which are frequently repeating and there are not many changes in those but yes one or two googly can be there uh, the questions can be like uh, from a hi-fi concept or they can be uh, from the uh, recent uh, need or you can say INICT medical papers so that's why I suggest you to uh, do at least three years of uh, NEET uh, PG that is your medical one and INICT also uh, for the microbiology and reading the previous five years is also uh, very important when the subject is so vast and you don't have much time to prepare for that. So you can always think of doing the microbiology aspects from the five years, uh, the NEET uh, papers as well as the INICT paper. So you'll get that trend, you'll know where are the, uh, which, which are the topics from where the questions are picked and you'll be able to solve at least 70 to 80 percent of the questions from the repeated topics itself. So the recommended time for your preparation can be like 10 days. Uh, this is enough to prepare the gist of the microbiology and the book you want to refer. That can be any Indian author like Babeja, then you can say uh, Panikars or the Anant Narayan book, which is one of the uh, good books which is referred for the uh, examinations in India. And if you like, like want to go for the foreign author, then Lancet is there. But yeah, I would just say that uh, stick to this and better than sticking to this, we can always uh, refer our bites here. So uh, the important bacteria which are frequently asked, we have given those, uh, the, we have like uh, enlisted a lot of bacteria, the important ones, I'll be just uh, naming those also. But yes, we have uh, compiled the special features which can be asked in the exam and we have taken the trends from the uh, recent uh, medical papers as well as your uh, dental papers uh, and we have compiled the information in the form of bites, right? So uh, coming to the bites in the microbiology, yes, this is an extensive section and you'll see a very good information in a compiled manner. So bacteriology, yes, it will be little vast, but yes, this is worth it.
then a uh, general microbiology so i was just mentioning about the static concept right so general microbiology is something that will be comprising of your sterilization procedure the methods of sterilization then that will be com com uh, comprising of your immunology that becomes very important at least one or two questions can be expected from the immunology then culture media one question they can, can generally ask complement pathway alternate complement pathway all these are very beautifully explained in the bites and very short clips notes are given if you read those you won't miss any questions from the general microbiology section for sure so uh, we'll be coming to the list of the task which is must do and we'll be just explaining how to uh, approach these tasks to get a good preparation and good hold on the microbiology now coming to the most important part of this video are tasks so these tasks are like uh, very important and must do kind of things for your microbiology to get a good grasp on your microbiology so let's start with the task so if we see these all tasks till the general characteristics of viruses from immunology and the hypersensitivity types of microscopy and sterilization they basically comprise your general microbiology so as i have already mentioned almost 50 to 60 percent questions will be from the static topics like microbiology and they will be helping you to get good marks so these are certain uh, things from which the questions are always asked so starting with the immunology as we know in the immunology a lot of questions are asked either you can refer microbiology by its end also the same overlapping concepts are there in the pathology right so uh, it becomes important for your both microbiology and pathology and in immunology also uh, you'll be uh, you, are, you are expected to learn about the basic immune functions you should know uh, immunoglobin you should know types of antigen you should know types of immunoglobins and which immunoglobins are predominant at what site or you can uh, you can be asked about the immunoglobin who, which can uh, cross the placenta immunoglobin that is present in the saliva immunoglobin that is kind of secretory so all these type of type of questions are very basic and they are generally asked in need for sure then we have the culture media now this culture media and cultural characteristics of bacteria and viruses of course viruses we are not going to culture in specific medium we have special uh, arrangement for those but yes for the bacteria the culture medium becomes very important and they can give almost one question on culture media also then the complement pathway now the classic complement pathway and the alternative class uh, alternative complement pathway these both forms the foundation of the immunology right so if the uh, exam is going to be conceptual so at least one question can be asked from this particular concept because this is a very important concept and this has been very beautifully explained in the video also so to get a grasp of the classical complement pathway at least you should refer the videos and the bites then we have the general characteristics of bacteria very important uh, that comprises of general cultural characteristics some uh, types of special types of spores and all those characteristics of bacteria and at least one question is expected from these characteristics also then we have the general characteristics of viruses more than the characteristics yes you should know the properties of viruses but one uh, important aspect which is asked in almost every exam they ask about the classification of viruses so you should understand the classification of viruses yes it becomes sometimes monotonous for that thing only in videos a mnemonic has been explained and a storyline has been created to give you a grasp of the classification of virology and if you uh, see that the dna viruses are there rna viruses are there then the symmetry of the viruses icosahedral and helical then uh, the characteristics of viruses like envelope and naked all these are discussed in the videos very beautifully you should you must actually see the video on virology that will be dealing with the classification then we have mycology and parasitology not a lot of questions are asked from there but if these are asked these are mostly unusual at least one question can be asked from fungi part actually mycology part actually and that will be a unusual kind of question when i say unusual so they won't be asking you directly about the candida or the candidias right they'll be asking you something different like histoplasmosis right so these questions are generally repeated from the neat pg examination okay so for fungi and the parasitology you can always refer these uh, 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 your three years of medical papers for sure 
Now coming to the bacteriology, after your general microbiology is done, the next important topic is your bacteriology and in the bacteriology, uh, there are a lot of bacteria, but yes, some bacteria like Staphylococcus, then Streptococcus, Corinne bacterium, then your uh, Clostridium, then your Anthracis, your Vibrio cholerae, these are certain important bacteria which you must do because if they ask you a direct question, most of mostly the chances are the are of the questions coming from these bacteria actually okay otherwise if they want to give you a tough paper high level things can come they can be repeated from the medical examination over five years of your past dental examination on bacteriology but yes this is uh, sure sure that at least one or two questions are going to come from bacteriology and you should have a good grasp on the bacteriology after you are done with your general microbiology then again virology Virology are two important aspects which has been repeated since three years. I have been observing those. One is hepatitis, and another thing is your HIV. And nowadays, what the uh, examinations are doing, they'll be asking about the different markers of the hepatitis. What does HBSAG? If it is positive, what does it represent? What is HBAG? Then what are the uh, antibodies related to these, right? So uh, they'll be asking, they'll be giving you some marker and they'll be asking you whether it is a chronic uh, hepatitis or it is a uh, immune, the person is immune to the hepatitis or the person who is previously infected, this is an acute infection, all these kind of. So there is a table that has all the markers and uh, these are attached to many of the questions in your question bank. So if you see that comprehensive table, you'll be clear about all the questions that can come appear in the exam from the hepatitis uh, topic itself. So you should know about the various types of the hepatitis from A, B, C, D, E, all these hepatitis as well as you should know the post exposure prophylaxis. Yes, at least one question is going to come from the post exposure prophylaxis that can be either from the hepatitis or it can be from HIV. So this is becomes very important as as dentists also you should know this prophylaxis for sure because there are chances that patient of hepatitis B or HIV can come to your clinic and you can be infected right. So what you are going to do what you are expected so this is more clinically oriented thing. So from virology these two becomes very important and you have to read these two things in deep in depth actually. Then coming to the hypersensitivity which is one of the part of the uh, immunology we can say. So hypersensitivity there are four types of hypersensitivity reaction and one question is asked in your need from these reactions for sure. They will be giving you example of any of the four types of hypersensitivity. Now uh, there is another type which has been introduced that is uh, type 5 now. So you should know about the examples of different types of hypersensitivity and this is very beautifully uh, comprehensively given in your bites also. Then coming to the types of microscopy, yes types of microscopy they can just ask you about the uh, uh, what, what they say uh, the electron microscope, they can ask you about polarization microscope, all these they can ask. Now coming to the sterilization, yes there is a definite question from sterilization in your exam, you can always uh, refer the PhD bytes for this or your sterilization in your microbiology but yes they will be giving you at least one question on uh, either on the autoclave or other disposal method. So you have to be very thorough with sterilization. Again this is very uh, much common if you are practicing your dentistry you should know the uh, protocols for sterilization. So this is always expected from the dentist at least right. So this becomes important and the virology the post exposure prophylaxis becomes very important and we will be getting at least one question. It is evident from the past three years of the dental examination paper uh, whether it is neat or it is your aims. So these are the tasks which you have to focus on and almost 50 to 60 percent of your portion of microbiology will be covered from the general microbiology itself. Next important thing is your bacteriology, next is your virology and then you can see the previous three years pattern of your uh, mycology as well as parasitology. So concluding the uh, whole strategy for the microbiology, you should understand that the repeated questions or the questions from the repeated topics becomes important for your microbiology. That's why a lot of revision is required for this particular subject and this selective study makes a big difference. Otherwise, if you keep on reading the whole standard books of the microbiology, uh, that will be time consuming and you won't get 
direct questions also right so you should understand the pattern of the exam for both INICT as well as NEET exam you should understand the pattern what type of questions are asked they ask more on bacteriology right they ask more on the general microbial biology aspect so just focus on those subjects or uh, those topics and you can always uh, revise this particular subject at least four times so you should be reading your bites okay and we'll be revising those bites frequently and of course uh, doing the task and question bank will also help if you found this video helpful and if you have any other doubts you can always comment in the comment box below uh, please like share and subscribe to our channel and if you want to get notified for the upcoming videos hit the bell icon thank you